fuck back. <laughs> What's going on? So, <laughs> so you guys, you know where we are. We're in my ride again. It's just me and Locke today. Now we're gonna take you guys through my Friday workout. We're gonna just go a little deeper into me and training, yeah, my lifting, and um, give you guys a little insight into, you know, maybe a bit of mindset and a little bit of, we'll, we'll pick your brain a little bit. Yeah, we, yeah, we can get you to ask some questions and we can just, we'll have a crack. Oi, but luck. what's been happening with you, mate? Um, it's been bloody crazy at the moment, just um, working a bunch. I work on the tools on top of, um, filming, uh, modeling as well, and we do uh, Psytrance events too, so I don't really sleep. My time off is like sitting at the computer editing or learning about running events or something like that, so it's been... Wait, uh, tell us tell us about, when's the next Psytrance event? September 9th, oh, it's uh, it's under wraps. It's not fucking under wraps Yeah, I guess anymore. you guys are going to know now. <laughs> it hasn't even gone public yet, it's in the works, but we're looking at locking in September 9th, it's called Into the Chasm, and it's going to be a techno event that'll end up um, going full blast Psytrance towards the end, so if you like to dance, you want to have some fun? Uh, keep your eyes peeled, guys. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's going to be wild. September 9, two days before my next meet. I like the beanie. Uh, yeah, I saw I, it straight away. I should have got one. Honestly, I, I, haven't, um, I, haven't got, I haven't had a haircut, so I look like a bit scruffy. Yeah, but <laughs> hang on, hang on. I get a haircut every five to six weeks. This man, when he says I haven't had a haircut, that means he's gone seven days without a haircut. Yeah, but I go skin fade, you know what I mean? And now we've got, we've got full hair on the side here. I actually rolled up to... Uh, my hairdresser, which is the conductor barbershop in Carnegie. Shout out, Chris. He's my hairdresser. I rolled up and I booked it next Thursday. <laughs> I rolled up yesterday and he's like, what the fuck are you doing? You are my next meet is in September in Sydney. Um, it's at a gym called Breakthrough. It's on the 11th of September. I got the link sent out to me a few days ago, actually, and I was, I've been trying to fill it out, but I keep getting stuck on one question. Like All the other questions are just you know your name and email address and all that sort of shit. But one of the questions, I just can't, I can't figure it out. And, and, you know, I want your help. It's third attempt deadlift song. And I'm not sure whether I should roll out with like something iconic or like a piss take or something that's actually G up because, you know, you get a minute to do a lift and no song is going hard within the first minute. So I don't know, chop in the comments. What do you guys reckon I should roll out with? Hello, man. Pepsi. Hello. Yeah. Slam the can slam my hell I am So not always gonna be motivated when you get into the gym and it's something I've really struggled with over the last couple of years, just not being bothered to train and kind of forcing myself to get in and do it. Uh, some of the things I've found that have helped those, I've been doing like a little warm up. Uh, I don't believe I need to do the warm up, but it kind of just gives me like a good five minutes to just get mentally in the zone and prepare myself for the gym session. I've got some heavy Cohen deads and you know, I, I had a bit of forearm pain yesterday and I, I, I'm, I'm excited to train today but there's, there's a lot against me, I feel. So just get myself in the in the zone. I'm taking my time. I'm not coming in here trying to get in and out of the gym. Like no 45 minute sessions, we're just coming in, taking my time um, with anything you do in your life. Like you probably wanna, if you're gonna do it well, you probably wanna take your time doing it. So we wanna take our time, rest long enough, prepare ourselves mentally, physically for the next set, not just rushing, trying to get through it and get a sweat on. And we're trying to lift heavy, we're trying to grow our muscles. So take your time. So I'm warming up, I'm doing my warm ups exactly as I would do my top set. I'm not gonna warm up and do like normal deadlifts and then get to my top set and switch to a Cohen. I'm warming up with Cohen's because I'm doing Cohen's. Treat them all the same as if they're 500 kilos. Plate. 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 Just warmed up, 120, 170 next. I'm gonna strap the belt on. Coming over to grab the belt and headphones. Just again, what I was saying before, get in the zone, stay out a little bit, focus. Headphones have been helping me heaps lately. That look fucked. Huh? That look fucked. No, that looks alright. No way. I can't. That is fucked. That is fucked. No, it works. Yeah. It doesn't. I'll work for it. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> 
The ultimate will be when I go fire plate, 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 plate. I can't do that yet though. It's not often I get to touch a man of this size. <laughs> Says he. All right, we got the mic on on the head. That's why. He's, that's actually why he's supposed to be wearing headphones, guys. <laughs> Just to have extra mounting point. Time to rest. Make sure you rest. Two hours later. <laughs> so, obviously we're taking the piss out of rest times there. Um, I'll probably been resting about five minutes. Uh, generally, five minutes is like the minimum amount of time I'll rest. Uh, for deadlifts, for example, or squats or bench, I'm going into like a set of 250. For me, this is going to be a hard set, and like it's a little bit scary, like going into that lift. You know, you want to do it well. You only get, you know, I've already done one one set. I've got two more sets, so I want to make sure that these exposures are good quality. So I'm just going to rush and go into it and fuck that set up. Most of you guys use straps. If you're struggling with them, you want this strap to go between index finger and thumb. And the bar goes between the strap and the hand. Then you use each hand. You're wrapping it towards the direction of your thumb. All right. And if one side's a little tighter than the other, like this one's a bit looser, what I'm going to do is loosen the other side and then twist the whole bar. And I'm getting that really nice and tight. So it's not in my fingers, it's in my hands. And I'm ready to go. That was hard. Um, give me a sec. Shit. Straight after the set, ask yourself, how many more reps do you reckon you had in the tank? That's how you call your RPs. Probably want to call the RPs straight out when you come straight out of the set. Not going back and looking at a video that looks a lot better than it felt. So also, when you're calling RP, you want to call RP with that technique. So not, oh, if I did it a little quicker or I paused a little less or the reps got a little sloppy, I could do five more. It's, it's with the tempo that you've been prescribed and the pause that you've been prescribed, how many more could you do with that form? Tried to adjust the way that I was breathing throughout the lift. It modified the exercise a little bit, but I felt I could maintain a good amount of tension in the bottom position. Obviously, I changed it, you know, after my second set. So I messed it up one of my reps, so I actually breathed at the top still. Too much going on, but I think it felt better. So I'm probably gonna try and stick with that, depending on how my T-spine feels tomorrow in the day after it hurts now, so we'll see. Last set. Oh, baby plate. <laughs> Better get 10. Uh, actually, if it's too hard, I'm not gonna push for 10. I'm just gonna push for the RP range. So if I if I fall short at eight or nine reps, I'm not gonna RP 10 it to get the 10th rep. I'm just gonna stop it at nine. I could, I'm just doing a hypertrophy work now, so. This one's been thrashed a bit, but oh, if you guys know me, I like to think that I'm a fucking bit of an engineer. <laughs> this is my little uh, leg extension range of motion add-on. You can get it from hustlelifting.com. Check it out. Bang, extra six and a half centimeters on that bad boy. Uh, hustle socks, baby. Newies, they're not out yet. They'll be out soon. Give me a couple days. If actually this comes out on Monday, they could be out. So I haven't 
changed my tricep exercise just for like four years. I pretty much do the same exercise. See that one facing that way or I turn around and go straight down. Um, every now and then I'll do this one, but it just doesn't feel as good as these. It doesn't mean you guys have to do the same exercises. A bunch of people have elbow shoulder pain doing the overhead version that I do. Just find what works well for you and keep doing it until it doesn't feel good. Literally, just milk it. If it feels good, you're getting a good pump, you saw the next day, your tries are getting bigger, you're getting stronger, they're all good indicators that it's working, so don't change it if it ain't broke. And don't fucking do it just because someone else is doing it and they said it's good. If it, if it feels shit for you, it's not for you. Um, so I can empathise with, you know, anyone who says that they are scared to walk into the gym or they don't want to feel more, you know, they feel uncomfortable in the gym because I've been training for 11 years, right? And that would have been when I was 15 odd to 19, I never went to the gym on my own. You know, I was always scared to go to the gym on my own, really scared for the first five years. And it's, it's, it's a scary place, but when you realize no one gives a fuck, and you either get in and achieve your goals, or you know you sit at home because you're worried about what people think, you know, get into the gym, chuck your headphones on, on and go to you know whatever place you want to go to when you train, get in the zone, and don't give a fuck about what anyone else is doing. Second to that, keep showing up to the gym anyway. You're gonna, you're gonna meet people, you're gonna become friends with people, and the gym's gonna become a social environment for you. So yeah, I'm my financial advisor, Three Kings Ryan, shout out. He said best time to start was 10 years ago, and the second best time to start is now. So don't wait. What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in. We got Slam behind the camera. We just picked Slam up and just had some food. Sure so we're, we're on the... Say hello. <laughs> hello. Yeah, we're on, the, we're on the way home, but um, great session. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments. We might get Slam behind the camera and do a little intimate session with Slam next week. But um, yeah, if you guys wanted to ask any questions, feel free to reach out. Always here to chat. See you next time. How's that? Yeah. We can get almost the whole car in. Whole car. All right.